Hey guys, I wanted to take you along for a little bit of a hands-on with the Wohler A550 combustion analyzer. We're actually playing with the A550L today and I wanted to give you a bit of a walkthrough of uh, what you get. So you got a nice hard case, very typical to most other brands that offer cases with their tools. Nice hard plastic, gives you some protection for your investment. You've got your literature in the little pocket in the lid. We've got a USB adapter to transfer data from the device to a computer. Your power adapter is the same micro USB plug for charging and you get a power brick and a cord there. You get some cotton filters and then there's two other components here. One's a water stop filter and then a pre filter looks like a piece of a piece of sponge that goes into your device. In the box we've got a wireless printer uses your typical or what you may be familiar with with other brands like Testo your thermal imaging printer uses a different size paper, so you can't use the Testo paper, but you can get printer paper from Wohler. The printer's model number is TD100. It utilizes uh, AA batteries, four AA batteries. There are magnets in the back of the device, so you can mount it to a metal surface, give you hands-free operation. With this particular walkthrough, we've got a piece of hose that you can use for checking gas pressure or other types of pressure for a manometer type situation. A length of hose there to tie into the device. And the star of the show is the A550L itself. You've got a cover that protects the large touch screen the cover can be removed. Just pop it out of the little clips and you have access to the screen without any kind of obstruction in the way. The design is very modular in that you can change your accessories pretty easily to get to the probe connections. You pop the side open and lift it up and you've got two connections here. One is a K-type thermocouple connection and then there's a hose connection for the pump. This section of the device is spring-loaded to allow you to open and close that lock it down. Up here at the top you've got your water filter and water reservoir. That also just pops up and allows you to get to that part of the device. Empty your water or change your water stop filter. Also pretty modular in its design. This just simply slides off and you've got your reservoir for your condensation and then your other water stop filter just slides into the little ports here on the housing. And then you can just pop that back in. It only fits one way, properly snaps in and then you can put your water reservoir filter back in and close your access port. The probe itself is very supple. The hoses on the probe, there's no significant rigidity, but they do seem to have a good protection against kinking. They're a fairly soft rubber that makes it easy to handle it so that if you're trying to put your probe in one position or another, you would actually be able to do that and it wouldn't restrict the positioning of your probe. Back on the back of the probe handle is where you find your access to your sponge filter on the back of the handle there. And then your probe has the sensors in it for the pump. And this fitting just slides on and off. Pretty simple, straightforward um, uh, connectivity. Um, so it fits into the case really nicely, but uh, I wanted to give you a little bit of a walkthrough on how it looks when you go for usage. 
as far as using the device, it's pretty simple. You got your power button here on the corner. Press and hold that for a few seconds. It goes through a typical zeroing process during startup. All right, so this is your main screen. I'm going to turn it off to get that uh, pump noise off for the moment. On the main screen, you have the option of copying the readings that you've got down here at the bottom. You can graph the readings that you're getting, stop and start the pump, and you've got a menu button. Your display has several readings here, 14 readings on one screen, but you can slide down a little bit and get a few more readings. Yeah, we've got 18 readings that are easily visible at the beginning. So to make your selection of whatever type of fuel that you're using, you go up here to the top left and touch the screen, and you can select from all the different types of fuel that are generally typical for combustion analyzers. You've got your natural gas, your fuel oil number two, number four, number six, biofuel, LPG, propane, slide down, you've got coal and wood, kerosene, pellets, and then you can have your own fuel, user-defined fuels, you can put in your own device information there. Once you've got your gas type selected, you simply turn the pump on and you run it to take your readings. When you're taking your readings, you can go to the graph and it will allow you to cycle through the different readings that you have available with the top of the display here and it will graph your readings across the screen. So I can move to the stack temperature ambient or ambient temperature CO2, uh, stack temperature, SL, all the different types of information that you had available in that 18-point screen. Efficiency, stuff like that. You can stop the pump while it's in that display and go back or start a new graph. You can copy your readings and move along there. But if we go over here to the menu, we have several things that we can play with here and this particular device will allow you to save up to a thousand customers in the information but we'll look at some of the other information up here first you can go to a CO ambient reading and it will show you the ambient CO and then you can give it a rating of okay or not okay and save that to the customer. Since we don't have a customer, it's not going to do that right now. But it'll turn that blue box into a green box once you've recorded that reading. You can take your manifold pressure, your temperature measurement, and it'll show you a delta T between stack temperature and ambient. We can accept that. Save that. Not because there's no customer information yet. Go back to menu, and we've turned our temperature measurement green. You can take a wood moisture reading with an additional accessory, and then you can use this tuning guide as well. So you go into the tuning guide, and it'll give you a graph of where your target is in those readings. It'll show efficiency percentages and a range of the reading that you're taking. You move to a different type of reading and it will change those parameters for the graph. So if you were taking CO or oxygen or whatever, you can show where those numbers should be. That gives you your tuning guide to allow you to know where you should be for the device. You can take manifold pressure. At this point this device is measuring in Pascal. This device is set up to do it that way, but you can also take that manifold pressure reading and give it a rating of not okay or okay. Save that to your printout. That is another reading that you can record and save. 
So we'll just go ahead and do a customer. Go into customers. Like I said, you can save a thousand of them into the device. You can touch new customer. Give the customer a name. We're just going to use the input information that's already there. You can give the device name, the device number, and now you've got a new customer in your database. And you can go in and see what those readings are. You can go to your readings and you can print preview or save them. If you go to print preview, it shows you wh exactly what the printout will look like. You can input your own company information however whatever nomenclature you want to use in this box you can input that you get the model number and the version as well as serial number and latest calibration information scroll down a little bit and you see your customer information and then at the bottom if you had readings on the page you would see those readings but at the bottom you've got a section where a signature company name and information can be recorded. To print, you simply turn on your wireless printer and line up the infrared or the communication window and you hit print. Once it's done printing, you could print another version if you wanted to or whatever. But it's fairly typical to what you would see with other analyzers that offer printing options. I'm more familiar with the Test 320, but it's about the same information recorded in the layout. So once you've got that information printed out, you can sign your name, input your company info. It's automatically dated by the computer or the device, and you can get a customer signature on the receipt. If we go back to menu, see what else we can show you about the device as far as how it works. In your setup, you have basic format options, the date, the time, the date format, the time format. You can adjust the brightness of the screen for visibility's sake. You can change the sound of the beep or the turn it off. The beep is a good bit louder with it turned to loud and then when it's off it's off. You can tell the system how to sort customers whether it's by name or customer number. You can also tell it how to sort the devices whether it's by name or number. The signals are the items that will display on the screen so you can go in and change the order of what is displayed on the main reading screen and then you can change your company info the stuff that prints out at the top of the receipt in this screen you can also restore all the defaults if you needed to so all in all I I think it's a very strong device it's got an amazing six magnets on the back to give you a very strong hold on the size of a, on the side of a piece of equipment it makes the usage of the device very simple to have all of your readings on a touch screen display the battery is stated to have a lifetime of 12 hours of operation so you could leave the system running for an extended period of time i would say i'm sure that there's more that i could go over with you if I was spending a little bit more time with it but all in all it looks like it's a very good device it's got some good features and built very well and it can definitely give you an easy interaction with the customer through a very user-friendly and customer friendly display they come with a four-year warranty and you can order replacement parts directly from Wooler without having to go through too much rigmarole. Calibration is very reasonably priced. You send it back and they will recalibrate it for a mere $75. And they've got a branch office in Massachusetts that is where you would send the device. So if you're in the market for a solid analyzer and you've got 
an interest in providing your customers with a great experience, being able to see how the system's running and operating. If you're not doing combustion already, you might want to look at something a little less pricey, as this is not an entry-level price tag by any stretch of the imagination. But if you are looking for a solid piece of equipment and combustion analysis is a big part of your job, I would highly recommend giving uh, Wohler a chance to provide you with a solid piece of equipment.